It's a decades-old tradition that is witnessing a resurgence because of its health benefits. Coconut oil is deeply ingrained into our culture, used for its healing properties, soothing of the skin and cooking. The Inspire TT team shares the story of 93-year-old Samuel Rodney, a man who has mastered the art of making coconut oil. Mr. Samuel, as he's fondly called by many in St. Anne's Village, Mayaro, told the Inspire TT team coconut oil has been a part of his life for over 50 years. Five decades later, he still operates from his home factory where he's crafted some important tools for his trade. With decades of experience, Mr. Samuel took us on a trip down memory lane, comparing the industry then to now. Mr. Samuel, with, with you today, tell me how old are you? Me? Yeah, what's your age? <laughs> 93 years. So I born the 12th of January, 19. 27. So, what you did as a, as, a, as a young man growing up? Boy, my father was a cocoa proprietor. Those days, members of... Well, my father already from St. Vincent. Mm -hmm. And he went on to Mamora Estate in Sandy Grande. And from Sandy Grande, Put him on to an learning. You understand? English. And uh, I haven't got much education. Because the distance you have to walk those days to go to school was a mile from the, the estate to the main road. And from the main road to the school was a mile again. That's a long, long story. So, tell me something. Coconut oil. Tell me about that. Yeah, we're talking about coconut oil. Yes. Tell me about coconut oil. What got you involved in coconut oil? Ah. Moving around, the people see how they grate in the coconut and how they proceed in it. But those days, they never used to leave it overnight. They boil it, they grate it now, they wash it now, and they boil it now. You see how, how it starts. Well, I say, if they could do that, I will try from there. So I wash it. First time I'm going to do it, you know. And I was about 23. And I leave it overnight. When I get up in the morning, I call the neighbor. I say, look at this. This is, this is something we have to look at. We will take off this one on top here. And we boil this to see what we get. And if all you want to look at boil the water to see how much oil it is. I remain the one there and I say, you see this thing? You see how a motor car make up? And if I could get a fusa iron, I'd get put the, eye, the coconut, the grate around the iron, and get up there and get. And I went by a fella, a welder. And I sit down there and I start to explain. It's on their start. None of my family don't want to come into the because they can have coconut. It haven't got coconut as long time. It, the only estate it has here now is an estate down in Guaya. They call it St. Mary's Estate. And the amount of people making oil now, you cannot get coconut. I could get out from it. If anybody decides to get by opening, by me out as well, and I don't know that. And relax. You think you'll be able to relax? Eh? You think you'll <laughs> be able to relax? I think so, no. <laughs> but I will try. I will try.
So, Trent Tobago, we are here in St. Anne's Village in Mayaro with Mr. Samuel Rodney. Mr. Rodney is 93 years old and he's actually been making coconut oil for 20 years, but he has been around the copper and coconut industry for many years because he has worked on many estates. So, today he's going to show us how it's been done, how to make organic coconut oil, and how to make the boil and how to make the cold press. So, we're going inside this factory today and we're going to see it first hand from the expert, the guru of coconut oil. Mr. Samuel, tell me what, what, what we're seeing here. What, what is this? What is, what is this? I understand you created this machine to assist in the process. I know normally when we were young and our grandparents or even our parents had us greater in coconut, you know, sometimes I sure have little marks and, mm -hmm. and, and digs in <laughs> on my hands too. As the population grow older and older, everybody develop a certain amount of ideas. Yes. Sometimes you go to bed, even you rise up in the morning and you're doing something during the day, you say, I will try this. And when you try it once, you see it come. You try it the next time, you see it. Yeah. You're not in yes. it rising. At that time, you get a comfort right away. So, you of yourself, we say, I will try and improve on that now. Yes. Instead of uh, using a smaller machine, I did a bigger machine. Yes. So what we're seeing here, what, what, what is happening here? I, I, I'm seeing something down inside. What is that down inside here? Here? Yeah. yeah. That's the grater. Mm -hmm. That's the grater that is to grate the coconut. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what we're seeing here, this is what I'm seeing, a motor. This I'm is seeing. a motor, yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So where you put the coconut? Where, where does it go? When? When you put the coconut inside of here now, you start the motor mm -hmm. and you use the press and press it and the coconut. You create a weight in it and it's going down to the bucket. So tell me something, Mr. Samuel. How many coconuts does this take? Yeah. How many coconut goes into this at one time? How many coconuts can go inside? This could take about 15 coconut in it. Mm -hmm. And how long does it take to, to, to grate? Boy, it will take at least 10 to 15 minutes mm -hmm. to go in. Okay. So, what we're going to do, Trinidad, is that Mr. Samuel is going to prepare to show us how it's done, how the machine works, and we're going to see firsthand how to make the cold press and is it boil? Boil oil. And boil coconut oil. So, We'll be back shortly. It feels like tall hammer here. <laughs> Tell me something, Mr. Hammer. What, what is this? What, what, what is this for? We call it a press. A press. This is a press trainer. Mm -hmm. And where does this, this? This seems like it goes here. Yeah, it goes inside here. Yeah. So this is to push down the, the coconut yeah. so that it goes, it gets grinded and then goes to make the oil. So what is going to happen now? Ugh, this thing is actually heavy. What is this made out of? This is, what wood is this? The ordinary wood. Ordinary Hard wood. wood. Hard wood. So what are you going to do now is that we're going to turn on the machine and um, it's a bit dangerous. So. Michael like the dresser, so let Michael come and grind some of the coconut here. All right, so let's start up the machine and let's start to show how the machine works and mm -hmm. we go forward from there, Mr. Salmon. All right? Right. Let's go. All right, you have so, to put in the coconut. I want to tell you I like the danger. I ain't too sure about that one, but we're going to try it. Mm -hmm. What's the process? What are we going to do now, Mr. Samuel? We have to we take out this already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to switch right. on the machine. Keep going. Mm -hmm. And load the machine now. So you're loading it while it's off? Yeah, you're loading the machine off. while it's off? Yeah. Okay. 
Can I help you? No, it's all right. Ah, it's all right, all yeah, right, no problem. Why are you loaded when it's off? Huh? Why are you loading the machine while it's uh, off? You see, when the grate is spinning, yeah. the coconut does go up. Uh -huh. So that is to keep it down. Oh, so it is recoil and, and make mess. Yeah. So once I put the press on it and it started, it wouldn't fly up in the air then? No, it wouldn't fly up. Can't oh, fly okay. up. So that is enough. I mean, we fall up here, the trough full. Or you need a little more? Let, let me try that. Let me try that. So try you want me to do? Hold the press. Try it. Right. Put it on top. Put it on top. Start squeezing it down. I'll get dirty here, boy. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, I hear, yeah. Wifey, you gotta wash some clothes this evening. <laughs> right? Wait, 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 wait. Let's keep Put it, put it. Put that, all right. Let's Get put this in the bucket whole bucket. Too, all right. Put in everything. The water, everything? Everything, man. Right. right. right everything, and even the little small little one, right? Samuel, huh? it's a real piece of innovation you did here. <laughs> that grind out fast. All grind out? Yeah, that fact grind out real fast. You yeah. find so? Yeah, and I find the coconut smell make me feel for some coconut ice cream, boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what's the next step after this one? After we grind it out, what's the next step for us, Mr. Samuel? Well, the next step is... You take it out from here. Yeah. And you put your water in it. Mm -hmm. And you wash and it. And I say you leave it overnight. I leave it overnight. Okay, okay. I remember when you were speaking to Otto earlier on, you were saying that life takes care along our journey and coconut seemed to be part of your life from the beginning and it continued to be a part of your life. You say mm. you were doing taxi work at one time, you leave all the coconut business, but you're back in it. And with, it, with this now, you're more safe. This Especially on the road nowadays with the amount of vehicles it have. Uh -huh. You're leaving home, you're sure to reach back in. You have any special customers that has come for your coconut oil? Eh? You have any special customers that has come to you exclusively for your coconut oil? Well, boy, the amount of customers I don't have come in here. Yeah. You see, all I, from next week, so, mm -hmm. customers come in. Sometimes, I just run out of coconut oil, I have to send them my orders for coconut oil. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. You see the amount of years I need to wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're willing to pass on that knowledge to the young people? I'm willing to do so. But the white young people want it. And they can't get coconut. Okay. The, the next problem is 
coconut is scarce. It's a dying industry. Mm. Not like long time with a plantation and thing. It ain't have it have plant how much plantation? In the whole of Mayor, it has one plantation planting coconut. Okay. That is in Guaya. How you source your it, coconut then? Where you, huh? get, where you get your coconut from then? How I just get it? Yeah, how you get it like coconut? I just go down there and buy coconut from them. They just crush it, dig it out, and sell it by the bucket. $50 for one of this. Okay. And after you process something like that, how much yeah. oil you can get from a bucket of coconut? Oil? Yeah, how much coconut oil you can get from it? After you process it, like if you get a bucket, mm -hmm. Right now, how much oil you could get from that bucket? Well, it all depends. You could get ten up to ten buckets. Yeah. Okay. It all depends on the moon too. On the moon? On the moon. <laughs> uh, how how it depend on the moon to get oil from the coconut? When you have to see the moon does be strong and sometimes it does be weak. Uh huh. When the moon strong, you get more oil. I, I never I never hear that before. No. Uh -huh. Well, that's something new, Mr. Samuel. Well, boy, the more you live, the more you the more you understand the environment we live in. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Hi, Otto. Well, I didn't realize the moon connected to coconut oil. I learned something new today. I hope you learned that too. Okay, mm -hmm. so we'll be on to the next process. Yeah? You see how the milk coming out? Yeah. But when you put the water in it, the milk will come out faster. After it sits here, it stays for 24 hours before mm -hmm. you boil it. Yeah. So what we're going to do, guys, is that Mr. Samuel has some coconut that has sat for more than 24 hours. So we're going to boil it up and then we're going to see the process. All right? So stay tuned. So now we're going to be going inside. Tell me, what happened? Look, it up a, a sink. Pipe right there, it have a sink there. Nice. So, Michael, water. You want to wash out the pot? Yeah, wash out the pot. Wash out the pot. Wash out the pot. Mr. Samuel factory actually is it's customized to his height, not my height. So hmm. Hmm. I've been bouncing my head for the last half an hour since you're here. <laughs> half an hour since you're here, you're bouncing your head study. I'm telling you. You is wash it. it. Okay. So, Michael, what I'm doing here is actually washing the, the coconut that was grinded a while ago. Has enough water? You need more water? Not too much water. All right, well, take it off. <laughs> right. Not too much water. Take out the parsley now. Uh huh. Take out? The parsley, you give your coffee. And squeeze this. Mm -hmm. So it's a process where you, you're taking out, you're squeezing the water out of the husk. So yeah, the water now going here. Okay, cool. All right. So we're going to be squeezing and continuing this process and um, Interesting. Right, hold this over the pot. Mm -hmm. Now, boy, that heavy boy. Yeah. You want me to lift it? <laughs> you, you, all right. Mr. Samuel, that shocked me every minute. 
It doesn't need our help at all. Expert in this coconut thing. So what we're seeing here is this white, nice, creamy, milky kind of color coming out here from the husk. Do I have to squeeze here? Yeah. No. Put that over the pot. Squeeze it. So I'm squeezing. Every day I learn something. Every day I learn something. I'm right? telling you, boy. More. Straight here. Mm -hmm. So this is the process. Yeah. This is the process of getting the, the milk out of the coconut. For those who may have now joined us, this is getting the milk out Rest of the that coconut. Is it. And I'm wrapping up here now, as Mr. Samuel said. This is it. Find me always in the kitchen while you're talking. Wow, that wasn't too bad. I did take a long time before it. Put the pot across. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So, Mr. Samuel, we light in the stove. What are we looking for here? What are we going to do here now? We want boiling coconut water, the coconut milk. Yeah. No, don't worry with that. Don't worry with that. That one not working. Look this lighter here, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put it too close to the fire. Yeah. Being here much because it's a long process and it, um, it had to sit over 24 hours, you were saying earlier on. But Mr. Samuel, mm -hmm. we're going to pour over some coconut oil just now, right? But one, one question I want to ask, you know any of the health benefits of using coconut oil? Huh? The health benefits for using coconut oil. Instead of always getting in the store, what's the health benefits of what we're using here, this coconut oil, this natural organic oil? Some fellas come here already you know, to examine what I'm doing and all this. Yeah. And those days I was over there. Uh -huh. And they tell me you're going all right all for now. Mm -hmm. But they say in the future, you could, the government could give you a loan mm -hmm. so you'd be able to extend it. No, what I'm asking you is what's the health benefits of using coconut oil compared to what is we selling in the grocery? What's the, what's the medicinal health mm -hmm. benefits? Mm -hmm. You ever have the dealings with people who are buying the local coconut? Or oh, it's just I and others who are making it. People come in and complain the coconut oil rancid. I, I hear that before. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. From people they buy it, they're getting it rancid. No, they're getting it in the store. And it, in yeah, the store. In the store. Yeah. Why? I don't know that why I'm asking you, use the coconut man export. Well, boy, I have a sense in boiling the oil. Uh -huh. You see the oil, the oil was dark? Yeah. Some people don't like it dark so and darker. Okay. They're telling you the oil burn. When so, the darker the oil is, more burn it, get burned in the process. Okay, was it different? That can get that oil wouldn't be able to get rancid at all. So Trinidad and Tobago is a cold pressed coconut oil here. We're here with Mr. Samuel and we're in St. Anne's village. Um, this was a very unique experience. I mean, it's the first time I see the construction and 
actual making a coconut oil. I mean, it was enlightening for me, and I hope it was enlightening to you. And here on Inspire TT, is that Samuel? Where are you going? You see, there's a difference between the color. Yeah, you were telling me that earlier on, yeah? So we're gonna get it the darker color? That's right. All right. You're looking like you think you can catch lobster, boy. <laughs> so this is the clear one, the cold press you're saying, right? Why this one has a different color? The boil one? Put this one back. Mm -hmm. Alright. Tell me what you see here now. I see one or dark. Two, you see a, dark now. a little bit darker than the other, yeah? Right. Yeah. So this fella. And this one and clear, yeah. And this fella will come here. You see this, what I'm doing here? Yeah. And not everybody could do that, you know. If you're nervous. You steady hands. I hear you. So you don't need no funnel? No. I hear you. All right, so I want to ask a question, because Shona and we're going to be asking the same question. What's the difference between this clear one and this one that have a slight color on it, what's the difference in the oil? This take heat. This one heat take heat? This one take heat and that one take no heat. So this is a pure natural one? Pure, that natural, that natural. And you was talking to me earlier on and you say this is the one that wouldn't get rancid on the shelf. No this rancid. This will last so long. This doesn't get rancid either, you know. Okay. Because of how you used to it. How you do it. How you do it. So you think is the, is the amount of water in it, if you think boil all the water, if you boil it too, too much? Boy, this, this has a lot of technique in it too. Uh-huh. And I know you see where my pot is? technique secret, you notice that? You see where my pot is? Yeah. I have everything turned down. I'm not working. All my buckets and everything that I was used, I have it turned down. Yeah. You understand? So no moisture. I have it scattered all about. You know? Yeah. So I'm ready for it. And I'm gone. And no, I had to take my time to put it back in order. Okay. Okay, okay. I notice your finger here. Boy. What happened to that finger? <laughs> That's what I'm like. A belt burst. Doing the cold press? Doing the um, grinding the coconut? Yeah. A bell burst and the bell cut the finger. Straight off? Clean off. Wow. So you see, <laughs> just like Mr. Aziz, all these jobs have a particular amount of risk and you have to know what you're doing before you just jump into it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself when that happened? Yeah, no. What really happened is, a fella does leave San Fernando. Uh -huh. All around, Three o'clock to reach up for half past four and all the light. And either I get up around four o'clock and start to wash, grind the coconut. Mm -hmm. So that morning in question, he come. Mm -hmm. And as he come, I, I offload and was grinding the second batch. I bet bus cut it clean. All right, Trinidad Tobago, this was the Inspire TT team. It was with Mr. Samuel Rodney here in St. Anne Village in Mayaro. I hope you enjoyed the content. Um, the Inspire TT team was here and you got to see the whole process of the coconut oil, how he makes his coconut oil. And he was giving us a lot of his inspiration and technique. Um, of what it goes into manufacturing his oil. Take care from us, the Inspire TT team. Michael Ramsing here speaking. Bye for now.